Seymour Quest is a notable American graphic designer who has been expanding his diverse body of work over the past six decades. With droll humor and conceptual intelligence, Seymour built an empire of work from packaging labels and political statements to monthly graphics and magazine covers. In order to capture his influence in the world, let's start from the beginning. Seymour was born in 1931 in the Bronx of New York City. In 1937, at the age of only six, his earliest drawing and animation was sparked by Walt Disney's Snow White. Two years later, this cultured eight-year-old found himself exposed to the wonders of the World's Fair. After graduating from Abraham Lincoln High School in 1948, Seymour decided to further his arts education by attending Cooper Union School of Art in New York. There he studied drawing and painting and excelled as a nonconformist. He graduated in 1951, and after a few failures and unsuccessful art projects, Seymour struck gold. By building a partnership with fellow classmates Ed Sorrell and Milton Glaser, Pushpin Studios was founded. By the 1960s, Pushpin Studios was creating numerous works and Seymour began to utilize influences of Victorian, Art Nouveau, and Art Deco to integrate type into his artwork. In 1969, Seymour created a work entitled The South, with a combination of Southern imagery, dark song lyrics, and photographs. The South stood for a powerful political statement for justice. This set of works included a die-cut bullet hole through every spread and depicted the brutal death of those killed in the pursuit of equality. By the 1970s, the pushpin style made its way across the Atlantic to be displayed at the world-famous Louvre. It was the first time any graphic design pieces have been displayed at this French museum. In 1973, Seymour married designer Paula Scheer, gaining influence from one another, this power couple of designers continued to output a high volume of incredible works. By 2009, Seymour published his 20th and final issue of The Nose. Currently living today, Seymour is 87 years old. With a versatile background in media, including monoprint, woodcut, collage, and montage, Seymour was also skilled in the art of painting, ink, charcoal, pencil, and graver. With such a diverse set of skills, it is no surprise that Seymour is still creating quality works even in his old age. Throughout his life, Seymour found inspiration and influence in the world and people around him. From spending his afternoons as a young teen at museums like the MoMA to interacting with a number of other talented designers, Seymour fostered an adventurous and eclectic style that crossed the boundaries of nations and conceptually stretched across decades. In his life's work, Seymour impacted the postmodern movement in a number of ways. He directly and indirectly influenced four generations of artists and educated a number of international illustrators and designers to adopt and explore his eclectic range of styles. Ultimately, Seymour was, and still is, a designer for the history books. With incredible influence and a steady stream of quality work, Seymour Quast was, and still, is the left-handed designer that impacted the world.